On the breakfast, expert in the aviation sector blames the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, for the crisis following non remittance of accumulated revenue to airlines. Also on the breakfast, the National Bureau of Statistics says 28 sectors of the economy declined in the second quarter of 2022 as real gross domestic product shrunk by 63.49 billion naira in quarter on quarter. And we'll also be looking through the papers this morning and national dailies bringing you great analysis and insight. Welcome to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. It's a beautiful morning right here, 31st uh, day in the month of August. Uh, apparently, it's the very last day in August. The next time we'll get to have a conversation will be, uh, you know, in September. However, uh, we start off with a top trending conversation, but just before then, I am Messi Ibopo. Now, on a top trending, a Nigerian has won the Global Voices Scholarship, and uh, she goes by the name uh linda vincent a nigerian she won this uh, university of east anglia not which you know united uh, kingdom global voices 2021 scholarship award for her prose fiction well uh, the reaction in different spaces is that nigerians are winning in different spaces i mean it's it's a win for us a lot of persons have said despite all of the darkness and struggles that we're faced with it's a plus for us to have this other one but that's it we also have other trending conversation right there another one is that corporates in the custody uh or corporates are in custody for all thefts now and if you know if you follow the conversation or if you follow all that's happening in our country you would know that all theft is one of the reasons that the government has given for the fact that one we have been unable to meet our quota i mean the quota that opec actually puts out every other time nigeria has not met our quota we're not doing very well in terms of meeting uh required quota that's been put out for us and one of the excuses that all theft has been on top of the front burner. But the group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, Malia Kayari, has said that 122 persons have been arrested for oil theft between April and August 2022. He also revealed that the government operative have discovered at least 295 illegal connections, uh, you know, to a 200 kilometers stench pipeline. Uh, and so... Uh, he said that the, this impeded the production capacity of the company across several fronts. He also discussed this during the 49th session of the State House briefing organized by the uh, presidential communication team at the presidential villa in Abuja. According to him, he said that a uh, security operative discovered 342 illegal or res reserves and uh, 335 cooking ports. 959 metal tanks, 35 tr trucks, uh, 452 uh, pits, uh, 737 oven boats, and 179 wooden boats, 30 speed boats, 11 vessels used by vandals to perform their activities in the oil producing region of the Niger Delta. And this has led to uh, recovery and destruction of 35.8 million liters of crude oil, 22 million liters of automotive gas oil 150,000 liters of petrol and 760,000 liters of kerosene with five months uh, on the review well it's a good thing i think uh, it's enough uh, nigerians have constantly said that if this is an issue government is government responsibility you know to rise to that and ensure that all turf becomes uh, not something that is in our present, but something that is in the past. But as always, we hope that there will be justice that will be met. This person will be tried, convicted. Justice will take its place, and we will be able to, you know, continue 
uh, with oil production because it's affecting the economy, however we look at it. Uh, the fact that we're unable to meet our quota, several issues, uh, especially where our economy is very dependent on oil earnings, it's a lot. Another one on the top trending is a Delta Airlines suspends flight from New York to Lagos. And for them, the reason for the suspension uh, is that they need to be, it's in connection with the current reality. Environment, uh, environment that is very friendly, uh, activities that are quite related to all of this. Uh, a statement was also put out to uh, this particular statement. Yes, we know that the aviation sector is facing a lot of crisis right now. But the suspension is not in connection, just like the Emirates, is not in connection with remittances uh, in this case, because we know that prior to this time, uh, we have the Emirates who's put out an information saying they were going to suspend activities uh, from Nigeria because of the uh, funds that are being trapped right here. But that's also something uh, that's been looked into because the government has also made some effort, but this is something different entirely. And the Delta Airlines have also said that they're also making provisions for uh, passengers, you know, an alternative provision for passengers, and that's a good one. But we hope that we will be on top of the situation to solve the aviation crisis. And that's it on our top trending this morning. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll continue with the conversation. Please stay with us.